I want to start off by saying thank you for downloading the BWR budget template, as this is the first step of getting your finances in order. I want you to start off by giving yourself a pat on the back, because not many people will begin step one, which is creating a budget and to understand and fix your financial position. So kudos to you for taking action. And when you first start off in the BWR budget template, it will look similar to this. Um, it'll have all these different uh, tabs and numbers that say zero and graphs. Uh, what the first thing you need to do, don't get overwhelmed, of course, but first thing you need to do is go to file and make a copy. Um, here you can name it anything. Uh, if you want to name it your own budget or I'm going to name it my name, Kelly, and I'm going to name it Kelly's budget template. Okay, and it's going to save in your drive. Okay, when I click enter, it creates a copy. You are now able to edit this version. You weren't able to edit the last version. Uh, next that you need to do is to go to the viewing of it, right? So it's kind of small, it's, too, it's a little too zoomed in on my computer. So I want to go in and I like to do at least 150. I'm sorry, 75, I guess it helps to go the right way. Um, maybe even 50. And this, you can play with this if you want. This is just so you can see everything. So you're going to have your year end summary. Uh, this will automatically update. So don't get afraid that you have to type all these numbers in. All this whole first page will automatically update without you having to do anything. Um, your income and expenses, your year totally expenses, which will uh, show you where each expense for the total year, uh, where you, how much you spent on each expense. Um, and then here you can select different months. Uh, for your expense pie chart and same thing with your monetary assets overview. This just is a graph, a line graph of your monetary assets and how they change throughout the year. Okay. Um, the next step is to go to January. Okay. Uh, when you go to January, there's a couple of things that you need to take notice of. Uh, you need to first look there, make sure it says January 2020, uh, but then you need to go to your name. You need to type your name right here. So I'm going to type Kelly. Okay, um, and then if you have a spouse, feel free to type in your spouse name. I'm not, I'm just gonna type in Rhodes, my last name, uh, just so it'll show up. So here's what it, what it does, it'll automatically show up at the bottom and it'll differentiate the, uh, the income, which is, this is the comprehensive income tracker. And this will basically tally all your income for the month. Um, it'll this be the beneficiaries who uh, received the income, the sources who paid, and then the amount is amount you were paid, the date, and then you can, there's a cool little button where you could go yes or no if you pay taxes on that income. Um, this is just helpful information. Um, after you do that, the next step would be to go to your categories, right? So your expense categories. So right now it says rent, gaming, utilities, groceries, gas, debts, investments, eating out, and health. Feel free to change this to anything that you want. So maybe you don't have rent, maybe you have a mortgage, okay? Uh, maybe you don't do gaming, maybe you, I don't know, play soccer. You know, you got soccer, you got utilities, you got groceries, gas, you change it to, use all these or as much as you need to change it to whatever your expenses are. And the goal of this is, this is almost like the Dave Ramsey envelope method. You're going to have to budget out for each expense that you have category, and you're going to budget out how much you are willing to spend each month for that. Okay. So, so let's just take this example. So the next step would be going to allotment. Your allotment is basically telling you, Hey, this is what I'm budgeting out for this month. So, so let's say my mortgage is a thousand dollars a month. Okay. So oop, that's 10,000. Okay, $1,000. Say for soccer, I don't want to spend, maybe have to go to a gym or something to play soccer or indoor soccer field, whatever. I don't want to spend more than $50 a month. Okay. Utilities, uh, let's say I spend $350. Groceries, uh, I spend $400. Uh, gas, I spend $100. Uh, debts, let's say I got a Maybe I budget out that I'm going to pay down student loan debt or whatever. Uh, I'm going to pay $90 a month. Um, I'm going to invest. Let's say I invest 
Uh, I'm going to invest, let's say, roughly $200 out of my paycheck, okay, for the month. I'm gonna, and this is, remember, this is all for the month. This is not each paycheck. Uh, if you get paid, uh, if you get paid bi-weekly, this is for the entire month. Um, and eating out, let's say I do eating out, maybe I only budget $50 a month. And health, let's say I do, uh, I don't know, uh, 80. Okay. So this, if you notice, this turned into green, right? This is what your balance is left. Okay. So this will tell you how much you have left after you spend. Okay. So let's say this is your, and this is your comprehensive expensive tracker. Okay. Uh, this will tell you, this is your ledger. Basically. Uh, have you ever been to your bank account uh, on the app and you go through, you can see exactly what you spent. This is basically what you'll do in your budget template. You'll go in, say who spent the money. So the spender section is who spent the money. So let's just say it's me. Okay, the amount was, let's say, I spent $1,000 on my mortgage, right? Uh, date, let's do today's date. Uh, the category, let's say, and the category, the cool thing is the category changes by whatever you put up here. So let's say this is my mortgage. See how that goes to zero. Oh, because I put it, oh, never mind. It doesn't go to zero because I didn't, I keep doing that thousand. It goes to yellow, which is zero. It'll tell me I have zero dollars left to spend. I should spend zero more dollars, okay? I don't, I don't have any more dollars to spend for this category expense, okay? Uh, the payment method, this is why this is red because I haven't checked what payment method. Uh, let's say I, I use cash, okay? That'll turn that and the explanation, explanation of expense and notes, okay? And you'll do that for every expense that you have with these categories. So let's just do another one, the soccer one. Uh, just to give you another example, uh, the soccer says 50. Let's say I only spent 30. Okay, and I did, I don't know, this would be the easier way. One thirteenth, spent on soccer. It still tells, see how it's comprehensive? It still tells me I have $20 left to spend on this, okay? And this is red, of course, again, because I haven't checked how I did it. Let's say I played with that. Okay. Next, I want to go over, before we go back up here to the uh, comprehensive income tracker, I want to go over the monthly bills. Okay, with the monthly bills, you are able to change this section. Okay, this is just a way, the monthly bills is just a section. It's just a way for you to keep up with what bills have been paid, what hasn't been paid, what's on auto pay, if you feel like if you if you feel like you need to have stuff on auto pay, um, just so you can keep up with what bills get paid on time and, and and when they need to be paid. Okay, so let's say I have utilities, right, and I need to make sure that gets paid. So we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna put Kelly. Uh, we're gonna do my utilities bills three fifty. Three fifty. Uh, today, let's just do a day for the money. Doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to select utilities. Again, we're going to do a say debit. Now, here's the important part, All right? You see utilities down here? You have to type this in the explanation. This is where the explanation comes into part. The explanation of the expense can be anything you want, but if you want it to go with the monthly bill section, you need to type exactly what's in this section, okay? All right, you have to type exactly word for word what's in this section. So right here it says utilities, right? So we're gonna type in utilities. And you see how it goes to paid, All right? So make sure whatever you type here, so just to give you an example, let's say I accidentally had cap locks on. Oh, I guess it doesn't go because I already put paid. see how it changed because uh, I didn't I didn't have uh, the exact the exact wording in here so see how it says rent if I put mortgage it won't do it it has to say the exact word the exact word for word of what's in this column and you're able to change this so let's say I want to backspace uh, I wanted to make sure my mortgage is paid. So instead of rent, I have a mortgage. Okay. 
So if I was to put mortgage up here, it gets paid, okay? And you feel free to change this as well, the auto pay manual. Uh, this is just an example. Uh, feel free to change this section, uh, but do not change. Don't go over here and change, start changing things. Only, only change things that I, I mentioned um, because you will mess up the rest of the template, okay? <clears throat> so let's go back up here to the comprehensive income tracker. So the comprehensive income tracker, like I said, is the beneficiary, the source, the amount, date, and taxes. Just to give you an example of how it works, let's say I get Kelly, the source is job, the amount, let's say I get paid uh, 2,500, the date, uh, let's do today's date, and let's say I pay taxes on that information. Okay, You see down here how it, it'll automatically update how much I got paid for the month, okay? And let's say you have a spouse, right? Let's say your spouse, because it goes off of this name right here. So let's say Rhodes, which is my last name, but let's just have the, say I had a spouse, right? Um, job two, um, they got paid 3,500. About 35,000. And they pay taxes on it. Let's say they actually, let's say they didn't, just so you can just see the opposite. No, okay. uh, but you see how it'll total it up right here, but it'll also separate who brought in what income. Okay. This is just a cool little way to track your, uh, your income. Uh, also, down here is your asset tracker. Okay. You feel free to change this. Um, this is just your monetary asset tracker. This will help you. Uh, track what you have in your bank accounts, your retirement accounts, whether it be a stock account, your brokerage account, uh, just anything that's monetary that you can track on a month to month basis, uh, you're able to track here. And so you put what you started with, let's say I had $120 in my checking, 500 in my savings, and I keep adding these zeros, y'all don't forgive me. Um, I don't know what it is. Cash, let's say I only have 300 cash on me. Uh, my stocks, let's say I have 1,000 in stocks. I have an IRA with 4450, okay? Let's say I end the month, though. I end the month with 240, uh, with 300, uh, 350. Did I put, I think I said 1,000 in stocks and I put I tell y'all, I'm gonna keep getting this wrong. I'm gonna just keep getting wrong. Let's just say, I have, we keep adding zeros. Let's say I end with 10,000, okay? Um, and then let's say I end with 200 in my IRA. This will calculate the difference for the month, okay? This will calculate the balance for the month, the, uh, the net difference, and it'll have the total back here, okay? And we'll come back to this because it, 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 it happens to go through the next month and where it starts, it's actually, it's a pretty cool uh, animation. Um, but the next uh, set is the ATM withdraw and cash out. This is pretty self-explanatory. Um, you don't have to do this, this is up to you. This is something cool if you want it. Uh, this will allow you to track uh, when you went to the ATM, when did you get cash back, uh, the amount and why, the reason why you're getting cash back. Um, like I said, it's pretty self-explanatory. Who, when, amount. Why. There's no cool gadgets or any coding that is associated with this, so feel free to use it. If not, don't worry about it. Um, same thing with the credit card payments. Uh, if you have credit card debt, this is just something to help you uh, track your credit card debt. Um, this will uh, continue throughout the, the rest of the months uh, for your or your calendar, but it'll tell you you can do a card, how much you paid, the remaining balance on that um, on that card, and then the transaction ID, so you can keep up with the uh, the ID number, the tracking number, when you paid it, okay? Like I said, again, this is there's no coding behind it. Feel free to use it. Uh, if you don't want to use it, that's completely fine. If you don't even have credit card debt, don't worry about it. All righty. Um, but I do want to go back to, so since we do have some information, let's go to the next month. Just to show you this column right here, this last month column. You'll see it throughout um, the month starts, the last month. You'll see it in certain places. So 
it'll automatically, with this great calculator or budget template, I'm sorry, it'll actually automatically show you what was in the last month. Um, so here's the last month for there, the last month for all of these. Uh, it's what you spent, what you have left over, okay? Um, I'm sorry, well, this is the last month of what you allocated for the for that, okay? I believe, no, I'm sorry, this is what you spent. I'm sorry, so excuse me. This is exactly what, this is what you spent for the month, last month on this particular uh, item, okay? And like I said, I've calculated here, and just like before, in this column, in the balance, in the month end, it'll start right here, okay? So I remember the month end in stocks was 10,000, it'll start at 10,000, okay? That's just a little really cool. Uh, let's go back to the summary, just so you can see the charts. And this is how to categorize. Like I said before, you, you won't have to put any of this information. This information will automatically be there. It'll tell you how much you spent for each month on each category. Uh, same thing right here, the totals, and same thing with the total expenses and income, okay? Um, this number is, the, is your total, your income versus your expenses, okay? And so for right now, we're 4,000. And 620 in uh, and, and positive, okay, net income, okay. Uh, this is the money that we have left after our expenses, okay. And then this, again, this graph is the income versus expenses. Like I said, again, this is stuff that will automatically do stuff for you. You don't have to do it. Uh, this is just a cool tool for you to look at it. And this will just track your monetary assets, um, and then you get to see where your as as a whole for the month where your uh, your expenses are, where it's soccer, utilities, mortgage, you'll see it as in the pie graph of what do you spend most on and and the percentages. It's it's pretty cool. It's pretty comprehensive. Uh, feel free to reach out to us if you have any more questions on this. Um, even if you want a custom one, maybe you want a custom graph, reach out to us and we'll we'll work with you and we'll we'll get what you need. Um, we're here to help. Uh, we really appreciate that you downloaded our budget template and give, like I said, give us yourself a pat on the back because a lot of people won't take that first step and just start budgeting. Okay. All righty. Uh, we, I really appreciate you from following throughout this video and helping you understand this budget template. Like I said, again, if you have any more questions, email us, contact us, let us know uh, what questions you have and we'll get it answered. Um, and I appreciate you following on. Peace out.